So we have the Cam Cretaceous Season 4 trailer and it has shown us so much. But there is a question, where is Doctor Wu in this trailer? And what part is he going to play in Season 4? Could we even see the end of Raptor because of this? Well, we're going to answer all these questions in today's video. So I hope you are ready. And as always, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more Jurassic World content. Right, let's get straight into the video. So hello everybody and welcome back to another video with me Shadows and we're going to be talking about Doctor Who and Camp Cretaceous Season 4 and what part is he going to play in Season 4 and will we see an Endoraptor believe it or not? Well there is so much information we've got to cover today because we have got so much new information from the Season 4 trailer. Now I hope you guys have all seen it because it's absolutely fantastic and gives us an indication of where Season 4 is going to be headed. But where is Doctor Wu? We do not see Doctor Wu at all in the Season 4 trailer. Now that could mean one of two things. Now if they're not showing Doctor Wu, it could indicate that he is a huge part of Season 4 and a huge part of the plot. Or it could be the other that the fact is he's not actually in Season 4. And that's what we're going to talk about today with evidence. So I hope you are ready. Now, as you all know, at the end of Season 3, Doctor Wu leaves Isla Nublar with his research and he's on a helicopter with the mercenaries. And that's the last we see of him. Now, it's presumed that he could be heading to Lockwood Manor or he could indeed now be heading to this new island we see in Season 4, which is extremely high tech. Now, in the official press release article from Entertainment Weekly, they talk about how Season 4 is going to have big tie-ins with Fallen Kingdom and then later on Dominion and it makes it quite evident that they're going to be tying in with Fallen Kingdom. Now to tie in with Fallen Kingdom the main points and plot of Fallen Kingdom is obviously Dr. Henry Wu creating the Ender Raptor, Lockwood Manor, selling off dinosaurs, the captured dinosaurs of Isla Nublar and the eruption of the volcano on Nublar. Now, in order for Season 4 to tie in with Fallen Kingdom and Dominion, they would need events from Fallen Kingdom, such as could we see the Ender Raptor return in some form in Season 4 with Doctor Wu? Maybe they have a cameo of Lockwood Manor, of him creating the Ender Raptor in Lockwood Manor, because I find it so hard to believe that we won't see Doctor Wu at all in season four especially as he was such a massive part in the previous seasons with him creating the scorpius rex him getting his research back he was a huge part of season three for him not to appear in season four is highly unrealistic in my opinion so we have to see henry Wu in season four now the events of season four are going to take place two years before the events of fallen kingdom so we could indeed see henry Wu on the new island creating new monstrosities and if he isn't doing that we could see Henry Wu in Lockwood Manor such as like flashbacks cameos etc creating the Ender Raptor and tying that into the new technology of this new island because Henry Wu has to feature somehow they can't just leave him out of season four entirely especially with the plot of him getting his research etc etc making the Scorpius Rex etc etc he needs to be featured in season four now as I said previously Henry Wu is not featured at all in the Camp Cretaceous season four trailer now that tells me that they're either keeping him a secret from the series because he has a main part to play in the plot and they don't want to give that away or he doesn't feature at all which seems very unlikely considering the past seasons and if they want that link in with Fallen Kingdom what better way to do it than to feature Henry Wu making the Ender Raptor in Lockwood Manor I mean they could quite easily feature him heading to this new island with them group of mercenaries and they could be using Henry Wu on this new island and him looking after the dinosaurs experimenting on the new dinosaurs because we know he likes to experiment he likes to make new things and we see these drones getting research herding dinosaurs 
Lo looks like they're taking photos, looks like they're taking videos, and someone would have to be controlling these drones and these robot dogs. They would have to be controlled from somewhere. And again, this is hinted at in the Entertainment Weekly article. They actually say, Scott actually says, that who is controlling these drones? What part do they play? And he's actually teasing that in the official article. So, could it be that Dr. Wu is actually looking at all this, all these drones, and using this for his new research to create new dinosaurs, and that is how it's featured in Fallen Kingdom? Who really knows? But what we do know is the fact that Henry Wu isn't featured in the Season 4 trailer at all. Because we also know that some parts in Season 4 that Darius is missing, and he is also not featured in some extremely important parts in the trailer. So we know Darius is missing. We know Dr. Henry Wu is not featured at all. Could there be a link there of some sorts because they do not want to give away some information? We also know that the campers are going into these secret research facilities. Again, what purpose are these secret research facilities? Are they there to experiment on these dinosaurs? Is Henry Wu part of this secret research facility? Is he in that secret research facility before he moves on to Lockwood Manor? Does he actually transfer between Lockwood Manor and this new base on this new secret island which seemingly is operated by Manticorp and the drones. So we know Dr. Wu also, it is presumed that Dr. Wu is indeed working with Manticorp because in season one we have the scene with the researcher Eddie and he indicates that Dr. Wu was making monsters for the other people and that's his exact words, Dr. Wu making monsters for the other people, implying that he's making these for someone else other than Masrani Global and that would have to be Manticorp. I mean, how else could they get their hands on a saber-toothed tiger? All these new dinosaurs which they hinted at. Other mammals is actually hinted at in the Entertainment Weekly article as well. So how else would they get their hands on a saber-toothed tiger if Henry Wu wasn't involved somehow in the making of this animal? So. To me, I think we're going to see Henry Wu play a big part in Season 4. Even if it's just in the shape of a cameo of him making the Ender Raptor, they have to reference that somewhere in Season 4. And for someone to think that they wouldn't reference the fact that he is making the Ender Raptor in Season 4 would be silly in my eyes. It's a huge, it is the biggest part of Fallen Kingdom. And the easiest way for them to tie in Season 4 to... Fallen Kingdom would be to show him making the Ender Raptor of some sorts and linking it to Fallen Kingdom that way. Sure, they could show the Lockwood Manor scene somehow and them capturing dinosaurs somehow, but it wouldn't be as impressive as seeing a cameo with Doctor Wu making the Ender Raptor. But anyway, what do you think? What do you think this means to the Camp Cretaceous Season 4 with Doctor Wu not being prominent in the trailer. Do you think he's going to feature in Season 4? Do you think you're going to see the end of Raptor in Season 4? Please, I love to hear your thoughts on this because it's quite a big topic and I read and reply to nearly every single comment so please let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to follow my Twitter and join my Discord to keep up to date by the minute of what's happening with Jurassic World and Camp Cretaceous. I'd like to thank my Patreon members and my YouTube members as always for supporting the channel and my research executive Ali Replace. All the financial support does really help the channel so thank you very much and I'd like to thank you personally for watching, thank you. Don't forget to check out all my other videos, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Shadows, out.